Keeping all the details of an upcoming trip organized can get complicated. So I like to use my favorite organizational tool, Trello, to keep things sorted and easy to access. In this video, I'll share with you step by step how I use Trello to plan travel. My name is Annabelle Needles and I'm a habitual wonder seeker and the video editor behind Evergreen Lane Productions. I help fellow memory makers get off their phones and into their lives. I'm slowly and tentatively and optimistically starting to plan travel again. And Trello is as usual, coming through as the perfect organizational tool for vacation planning. So let's head over to my computer where I'll walk you through how I plan my trips and how I use Trello as my travel planning tool. Okay, so this is my travel planning template that I've created here in Trello that I just duplicate whenever I have a new trip coming up. Here in settings, you can see there's a copy board option. And so I could call it Southwest Road Trip 2020. I choose keep the cards and keep the template cards so it will look like this when I duplicate it. Once you have your board set up, you can invite people to join your board. So if you're planning a group trip, my friend and I used Trello to plan a group trip that we took to Mexico for New Year's a couple years ago. And I felt like it worked really well. That was actually the first time that I started using Trello for this purpose. And I thought it was really helpful for planning with a group. If you've never used Trello before, or you wanna try it for free, I put a link below where you can sign up and give it a try. As you know, I use it for all the things in my life and I think you're really gonna love it too. You can see I have a few different lists here. I've got important info. On this list, basically what I would do was try to include important information that I wanna reference later and that I wanna keep in one place. Basically, I could add in the policy number. I could add in the phone number for my insurance. I can add the flight information here and I can add any hotel information to this card. Now this next list that I have here is the to-dos. And so I have, you can see, a few default to-dos that I have to do for every trip. So I always have to book accommodations. I always have to book travel. If I'm traveling internationally, I like to notify my bank. If I need to activate an international data plan on my cell phone, putting up an out of office message and scheduling a pet sitter. These are all just like things that I know I need to do for every trip that I take. Now I can also add cards here. So if I know that on this trip, I need to make dinner reservations, I can add that. If I need to research public transit from the airport, I can put that. So whatever I feel like I need for this specific trip, I can add those items to this list. You can either just, if you hover over and hit the C key that archives the card when you are done with it, or you could create another list called like finished to do's. If you wanted to have a record of what you accomplished, you could then just move the card over into finished to do list. You can also add a due date to each of these to do's. So if I know that I want to have hotels booked by the 30th, I can do that. I can set a reminder. So two days before it will remind me that this is due, you know, it'll send me an email, send me a notification, that kind of thing. Okay, on this packing list card, basically what I've done is create a template list of all the things that I packed. So this is kind of just an example. This isn't like the actual one that I use, but just to give you an idea of how this works, I created a separate checklist for each of these categories. So now I have a clothes checklist, a toiletries checklist. I've also created a few template checklists for different types of vacations that I take a lot. Every time I go to the beach, I'm gonna need XYZ items. Every time I go camping, I'm gonna need XYZ, you know, the same things every single time. So I've just created a template here of here's the things I need for the beach, here's the need, things I need for camping. Once you duplicate the board, if this trip you know you're not gonna be going to the beach, you can delete the checklist. If you know you're not going camping, you can delete that checklist. And so this basically just creates a starting point so that you're not recreating the wheel every single time you travel. Now the next step, step four, is gathering your inspiration and your ideas. So I use this ideas list here. And as you can see, I've kind of broken it down into a few different sections. So I've got a restaurants tab. I've got morning, afternoon, evening. Maybe something's gonna take all day. So you wanna put it in the morning or there's something that's best you know, like stargazing 
or going to like a bioluminescent lagoon. Those are all things that are going to happen at nighttime. So you want to put that in the evening section. And then I also like to just create a must do's category. So once I've kind of consolidated my inspiration, I can separate out the ones that I know that I for sure want to make happen because it's really easy to like over plan your trip and end up with like way too many things to do and so I like to kind of divide that into what's the most important stuff that I really want to see this trip and what's the stuff that I'm just going to kind of have in a backup if I have extra time if I'm feeling like I don't need a rest day and I want to just get back out there I have a list of things that like I'm interested in doing so basically I'll give you an idea of how I go about adding inspiration to my ideas list if I'm traveling, like I know I'm going to be traveling to Zion National Park, hopefully in the next couple of months. So I might search here, Zion National Park, and a bunch of things come up. Maybe I like this easy hikes list. And now I can see, oh, these are some great ideas. So let me flag this on my Trello board. I use the Trello Chrome extension for this and I can choose the board. So I'll do my travel planning template. I will save it to ideas and I'll attach this. Maybe I decide that Riverside Walk is the one that looks best. So I'm gonna say Riverside Walk. Maybe I'll add in some notes here. So it says two miles, shaded swimming ops. So I'll just note that, I'll add it to my travel planning template. So now you can see, here's the card that's been created for Riverside Walk. And maybe I decide that I wanna put that in the morning. Maybe it gets crowded, so I wanna make sure to do that first thing in the day. Okay, now I just kind of created some cards real quick just to kind of envision what this trip might look like. What I like about this is also I can add a location. I can add this scenic drive, the location to here, and you can see here that in this coffee shop, I was able to add the location of this coffee shop. Now let me just show you how to add that map power up to this Trello board. So you go over here, click show menu, and in here there's a power up section. You can add power ups. You know, if you just search map, it'll come up. But it has a lot of different options. I think the map one is helpful for travel particularly. So that's what I have added to this board. So as you can see here with this hike, I can add maybe the location of the trailhead with this coffee shop. I can add the address of the coffee shop. Then when I view it as a map, I can see, oh, here's the trailhead. Here is the coffee shop. You can start to group together things that are in similar locations. So maybe you know that you're gonna be in a particular neighborhood. Say you're traveling to Dublin or to Madrid and you know that you're gonna have a lot of activities clustered in a certain neighborhood. You can kind of plan your day around that and do some of the things in the same area instead of trying to hop back and forth around the city. This feature kind of just helps you visualize that. Once you've got all of your inspiration, maybe I've, I've moved this hike into must-dos. Now I can start planning out the itinerary a little bit. And basically I have this day one, you could, change the name to the specific date, say uh, July 30th, if you know that's the first day of your trip. And then I just basically copy this list and then I could call it July 31st and it'll duplicate everything on the list. Once I have a list for each day of the trip, I'll move my cards onto these days. And then I can start to kind of shuffle them around. If I see that one day has a lot of things, and one day doesn't have as many things, I can move things around. Or if I know that I have a big, long, all day activity on one day, maybe I decide the next day I wanna not try to plan as much and I can kind of leave it more empty. Here I, I decided to put a hike and then the next morning decided to keep it easy with a coffee shop and a place to watch the sunset. So you can kind kind of start to move around the different activities into a usable itinerary. And remember, you can add any sort of important details to this card, like length of the hike, what you might need to bring. You can add all that information to this card. Trello does work offline, so that's awesome for traveling internationally or places where you might not have cell service. Just make sure you sync the Trello app while you're still connected to Wi-Fi or data, and then all those cards and boards will still be accessible to you offline. And if you add any notes, or make any changes to the board while you're offline, 
those changes will automatically sync once you reconnect to Wi-Fi. That way you can have access to hotel information, directions, confirmation numbers, things like that, all in one place where it's easy to access. Okay, now step number eight is kind of a way to take notes on your trip and make sure that you remember all of the details. If, for example, you want to do a travel journal later or you want to record a vlog or a travel video. It can be really helpful to take some quick notes in the Trello app and remember you can do this offline. So say I did this hike so I could add that note to remind myself, hey, I really like this. This is something that I saw. Remember to look up this information when you have service again. So I could say how long the hike took me, what my favorite part of it was. It's meant to be just like brief, memory jogging information that I can come back and look at later. Even if you're not a, like a travel blogger or a travel vlogger, if you just wanna have this stuff on hand for like next time you go back to that area or if a friend asks or when you're just looking back at photos later and you're putting together a travel journal and you want to include some of those details but maybe you didn't have a chance to do that at the end of the day because you were like too tired if you'd like me to do a video on how i put together my travel journals or travel videos leave a comment below and let me know either journal or video or both and i'll make sure to add that to my list of videos to record for you now if you're as obsessed with trello as i am click the video that's on your screen right now where I walk through how I use Trello to make sure I'm implementing self-care into my everyday routine. And if you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll get a heads up every single time I post a new video.